here, we'll avoid the worst of this storm, but people on the Cape and the coast are still taking it seriously. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Hyannis for us tonight. And Beth, safe to say, people are on alert, but not panicked. Well, just watching that forecast very closely, and on a beautiful day like today, it's hard to look out there and believe that Lee could be any kind of threat. But here in Hyannis, like many coastal communities, preparations are underway just to play it safe. The 1210 ferry arrives in Hyannis from Nantucket, and on board, plenty of people who decided it was time to go, with Hurricane Lee set to threaten the Cape and the Islands. I wanted to stay for the, for the wind and the waves, for sure, but I got to get back to Maine, take care of the house up there. God, you get it from both ends. <laughs> yes. We're going to get it hard in Maine. We're going to get it big. I don't want to get stuck there, and it's something if you live there, especially if you live there year-round, you just know <laughs> when it's coming, you got to get out of Dodge. Miss Iris, a clamming boat, was brought in at least a day early. Owner Al Rencurl throwing extra line to secure it to the dock in Hyannis Harbor, hoping it can withstand any storm surge. The seas are pretty big right now. They got big ground swells out there. So everybody's rushing in and securing the boats. Now losing time at sea and the business that goes with it, and likely hurting businesses, including restaurants on Main Street, Hyannis, who have already experienced a wet and cooler summer and need the Saturday tourism. And if you start talking winds and rain, you're going to lose people. Yes, of course, yeah. And then, and then outside, we lose a big portion of our business because we have a lot of outside seating, so that'll affect us for sure. Tables and chairs along Main Street will have to be secured with high winds anticipated. And at the Hyannis Harbor Marina, it was another day of bringing in boats and cutting the season short for some owners who decided it was better to give in to Lee. Oh, when it gets to this point of the season, it's probably better to be safe than sorry. So that's, I do this every year around mid-September. And as many people as we saw getting off Nantucket, we saw just as many people heading to the island with a lot of talk of weddings and Lee, an unwelcome guest. We'll have more on that coming up at 6 o'clock. Reporting live from Hyannis, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.